It's hard to talk. Take a break. Take a break. It's hard to talk at the same time. Okay. Hey everyone, I'm Amanda. And I'm Emily. Welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. Today we are going to catch some bait. Yes. We're going to, first we're going to put a pinfish trap out and show you how to catch pinfish. And then we're going to open up a cast net. You can throw a cast net on pilchards, mullet, and so many different kinds of bait. So we are going to, ballyhoo for sure, we are going to show you how we throw a cast net as well. You ready? Let's go. Before I throw the trap over and put the chum in it, I just want to give you guys some information on pinfish traps. Okay. So, for starters, you're going to need a buoy or something on the end of your line and attach to your trap because you can keep track of it that way. You can get a bigger buoy. Some people don't use buoys, so no one steals them. You can go get them with a gaff, but I don't really recommend that. That's kind of challenging. They make a few different kinds of pinfish traps. This one has two holes, like two entries and they do make them with four entries. If you can get your hands on one with four entries, I recommend that because it's just more chances for fish to swim in versus the two entry version. So if you look here, this is where the fish can swim in. You can actually bend the trap to change the size of your hole. The bigger the hole, the bigger the fish. The smaller the hole, the smaller the fish. Mine is perfectly how I like it. I prefer to catch smaller pinfish. The only downside to that is that if there's not a lot of small ones around, you're not gonna catch the big ones because they can't get in. On this side, we have the entry for after you catch your fish. You can it's dump, more like the exit. More like the exit to put them in the live well. And then in the dead center of the trap, our uh, mechanism broke, so we have a string tied to it. Gotta get creative out here, guys. Zip ties work good. Zip ties, yeah, zip ties work good. This is where you'll put the block of chum. I've heard that some people use pig's feet. I honestly recommend the block of chum. It works wonderful. It's super easy. Super easy. So let's go throw this trap. I have my block of chum here, which is already getting a little soft. <laughs> and I'm just gonna take, literally take the entire block and put it right in the middle. Close it up, tie it with the string. I do know some people will actually put the chum in a chum bag and then put it in here. Some people will leave it in that cardboard, cardboard paper thing, cartridge, and put it in the box, <laughs> leave it in the box, because you can slow the speed that the chum leaves. I've always done it this way. I like to do it this way. You guys can come up with your own preference, kind of trial and error experience type situation. I'm going to drive us over to this flat that works really well, holds a lot of pinfish. It actually has rocky bottom and grassy bottom, um, but you really got to figure out what works for you. The water depth we're throwing in is four to six feet. We're out in Big Pine. There's a lot of flats, a lot of shallow water, and a lot of deep water. I have thrown a pinfish trap over in Marathon where there's a lot more deep water in like 15 feet of water over grassy bottom. That works too. It kind of just depends, um, but for us, we're going to throw over a flat. This is something that I would just recommend experimenting with. I like throwing over flat, it's not so deep, it's easier to pull the trap, easier to see the trap, easier to see the bottom and know what you're throwing on. Something else to think about when throwing your pinfish trap is the direction you throw it in if you have a two hole trap. So with our two hole trap, we like to throw it east to west because that's the direction that the current runs back here and that's the direction that the chum's gonna go out and the fish are gonna spell and they're gonna come in. If you have a four hole trap, you don't have to worry about this, throw it and forget it. You ready to throw the trap? Go for it. All right, pinfishies, we need you. Before we go pull our pinfish trap, we are going to work on throwing the cast net. We will pull the trap tomorrow and we are gonna show you our pull, but for now we're leaving the trap alone. All right, I'm gonna throw the net as a right-handed person. I'm right-handed, Emily is left-handed. So if you're lefty, just do it in reverse. Here's the very end of the rope. There's already a loop in it. So what I'm gonna do though, is I'm going to create my own loop by taking the rope and pulling it through. Sticking my left hand inside. I'm right-handed, but I'm sticking my left hand through it. That was really confused for me when I first learned. Before we do anything else, though, let's take a look at the net. 
This is a 10 foot net. You wanna make sure you're completely stretched out. You don't want it to be twisted or tangled up. Do what you have to do to straight, straighten the net out. All right, so I'm just gonna stand up here and kind of make sure my net's all nice and straight. Okay, we'll come back down. Go back to the rope. Okay, so I'm going to take wingspans. Entire wingspans for me are not very long, five feet, three inches. And I am going to grab the rope with my right hand and bring it over to my left. I'm gonna do this until I get to the horn of the net. So, entire wingspan, take my right hand and bring it to my left. Entire wingspan, right hand, bring it to my left. So I'm creating, as you can see, loops just like this. All right, we're at the horn of the net. You wanna make sure that you don't have a bunch of your lines hanging out. So I'm just gonna stand up here, give myself a little bit of room to pull on it. And as I'm making my wingspans, take the horn of the net, this part, and grab just underneath with your left hand. I hope that makes sense. All righty, now I'm gonna do the same thing with the net. Take my entire five foot wingspan. So it's a 10 foot net. So for me, I'm gonna do this twice. As long as the net's off the ground, you don't really have to do it twice. But I'm gonna do twice, all right. Five foot wingspan, right hand to my left. For this next one, I'm gonna grab kind of just underneath my hip. Do the same thing and pull the net off the floor. Now, at this point, if your net were twisted up, I'm gonna show you what to do. I've already straightened this net out, so it's fine. Hold the net off the floor, grab one side of your lead line. This is the lead line right here. And you're gonna to toss it over your leg. Co co continuously grabbing just one side until I get all the way around the net. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna work any tangles out, kind of help you make sure that your net is lined up nicely. You want to make sure you don't have anything like that. There we go. All right, the whole net is now not twisted, if it were. I'm going to pick this net up. We're going to section it into thirds. All right. Grab your lead line. I'm going to take my hand and grab the net right here. So I'm holding both sides of the net essentially. And I'm gonna swing it over my right hand until I have about a third of the net. So at this point, I would say it's a third. I'm gonna drape it down so I can catch it with my right hand. All right, that's a third of the net. I'm gonna take this third of the net, and this is the confusing part. You're gonna take it underneath, behind the net, in front of your left elbow, right? Out here, behind the net, in front of your left elbow, and throw it over your shoulder, your left shoulder. All right, then look at the lead line over here. I'm gonna take the lead line closest to me. The one on the inside. The one on the inside. Pull it up and open up the net like that. So essentially, I'm inside of the net. That's how I like to think about it. All right, we need to grab another third. For the second third of the net, I'm gonna stick my hand inside the net and grab a third of it. It's probably a third. Once again, slide the net, grab it with your right hand. What you wanna do is grab this lead line with your first finger and your thumb and hold it on the outside, just like this. So essentially, all the nets in here and I like to think about it as you're wearing it. All right, at this point I'm ready for my throw. The last third of the net is hanging down in front of me. So I'm gonna throw, I'm right-handed, I'm gonna throw downwind from the left side of my body across to the right side of my body. When you throw the net, you're gonna swing your body and it's gonna come off of your left shoulder. The last thing you wanna let go of is your right hand. If there were bait here, obviously we would be around looking for the bait. When you see the bait, that's when you wanna throw.
good to me. And that's how you throw a cast net. Woo! Woo! Now, uh, basically, right. you're going to want to do that if you're at the reef trying to catch ballyhoo. If you're on a flat looking for pilchards, mullet, and you basically want to throw it right on top of them. It's been 24 hours, which means it's time to pull our pinfish trap. I'm super excited to see how many we have. Hopefully we have a lot. Sometimes we pull the trap, it's super loaded. Sometimes we pull it and it's a little more like this, but either way, we still have bait. I'm gonna put them in the live well. Make sure when you pull your pinfish trap, you let any baby snappers go because they can't do it. There he goes. You might want to apply baby snappers. Sometimes you'll find baby muttons, baby lanes, baby hogfish, baby hogfish. Yeah, so they actually kind of go through and get those guys out and keep the pinfish. I'll show you a pinfish up close. Did you just grab one? <laughs> Alright. That's what a pinfish looks like. All these spines are incredibly pointy. That's your pinfish. All right. This pinfish size is my favorite size for bait, for fishing the reef, fishing the wrecks. It's the perfect little size, which is why we like to keep the holes in our trap little. If we make this hole bigger, we can easily be catching bigger fish. Probably more of them, but Thanks for watching guys. We hope you found this video helpful. We pulled our pinfish trap, showed you maybe pinfish, maybe yellowtails, threw the cast net and did some stuff like that. Remember to follow Gale Force Twins on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.